Welcome, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. Guys, this is going to be another vlog. I might start doing vlogs once a week. I don't know, but I got another piece for the home. You guys know I am redecorating my home. For those of you guys who do not know and who are just tuning in, yes, I am get rid of some, get, getting rid of some old stuff. Well, it was old, but it was still really nice. Um, and just kind of changing out every single thing in my home as opposed to moving and jumping into a crazy um, mortgage. So this was my fix, my quick fix. But anyway, I'll show you guys the table and I'll show you guys my outfit that I have on. I'll probably pop in a photo or something or go into the mirror. But um, yeah, let me go downstairs and show you guys. Actually, I could show you my outfit right now. Let me see. Let's see how it would look in the room because I have on... My shoes are in the other room, but I'll actually pop in a photo for you guys to see. Can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see the outfit. So I did end up wearing <laughs> the top. Um, I wore the top and the skirt. Chad, it's tight. This 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 shirt is. I'm not gonna say it's tight. If I would have had on, cause you know I got a big stomach, guys. If I would have had on a <laughs> waist slimmer or whatever, I wouldn't be dealing with this these things poking into my side. But it's actually cute. But anyway, <laughs> let me show you guys the table downstairs. It's a console table. Um, I like it. But I think it's too big. Well, it is too big. So they're actually coming to get it because, okay, it's like a scratch on it. And I actually see more than one issue with the table. But what they're going to do is they're going to come back and get it. They were supposed to bring the replacement next Wednesday, but I don't even want it. Can you guys see it back there? It's so long. So here's my issue. Let me flip the camera around. My issue with the table is that, I don't know, like, it's just too big. It's too big, um, and I don't know, when they brought the table here, I'm going to tell you how, it came just like this with, like, almost like saran wrap over it. Like, it wasn't protected, and I have a problem with that. So, I do, like, there's, like, a... A huge situation over there. Um, under here, I see something. There's one over here, but I think this one is more a part of the table. But I, I think it's like poorly made, in my opinion. And I don't feel like I don't feel like it's like real wood. Yeah, I don't. Not like not like my orange table because that table is heavy as all heck. But the fact that they Work table hit with like saran wrap over it. <laughs> Literally, it looked like saran wrap. No cushion, no box. Yeah, I just, it's a no-go for me. So I'm going to get something smaller and I'm actually going to get something dark over here just to go under these pictures, which are actually kind of crooked. Um, but I don't really like it, guys. And I'm going to do a better job this year at returning things that I absolutely do not want to keep. No more keeping things <laughs> that I don't like. I've done it many, many times, and I'm just pretty much over it. So, yeah. Did I get anything else new downstairs yet? Um, put the curtains up. Let me show you guys the curtains. So, I got these curtains from Ikea. And I didn't know they were going to be this long. I don't know if you guys can see. I didn't know they were going to be this long. And it's probably because, y'all yeah, know this vlogging camera. I have them on the hooks, right? So the hook is making them a little bit longer. they technically supposed to be higher up than that. I don't know if I'm going to take the hooks off yet. But here's like a full, let me see. It's so dark in here. Yeah, here's like a full situation over there. I'm, I still have to get some planters to put those in. Um, I'm looking for like a certain height and it's kind of hard. Um, so yeah, it's coming along really, really well. The table, 
I'm going to get something else to go inside there. I still want it very, very light in here, not too cluttered or anything like that. Um, but it's coming along really good. So that's the last thing that I put was the curtains. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, I'm just going to have them just come get it, get my money back and get something else a little bit more slimmer one and just, and it wasn't even cheap. This wasn't cheap, but I don't feel like it's made well. And I'm noticing that child walking up these stairs. I'm noticing that these designers, man, they are really, they slacking on their stuff. I'm not even going to lie. And if people don't speak up, they're going to continue to slack. So in this case, we're just going to return it. Let me see. Hold on. I just got a text message. Sorry, guys. So I have a... I'll get to her. Let me just reply to her. A client. Ciao. So, yeah. So um, that's today's part of the vlog. I'm working now, drinking my juice. I didn't get to take a lunch today because... <laughs> There's just so much going on. <laughs> I finally got my laptop up and running. Okay, so here's a debacle with my laptop. I was so desperate for space the other day that I literally deleted my music from my old laptop. So when they were trying to restore it, I was like, well, maybe they can just pull it from like the iTunes, right? To put it back in the music library. The lady was having trouble. And I was like, but these were all purchased. And she kept saying, you, you, you need to, sub to subscribe, you need a subscription. And I didn't need that. So I spoke to like a senior person and I just, I literally, they weren't downloading. Oh my God. So I had to click in each one, just literally click in each one and cancel just for it to download. It was so weird, but I'm happy. That computer is so fast. Like just moving my finger on the keypad, the mouse pad, it's really fast. So that's, that's, I'm happy about that, but I'm going to have them come get the table and the rest of the day, I'm probably just going to work on another uh, blog post. I have one for this week. I'm going to do one for next week. And I think I'm going to start going back to once a week. If any of you guys know anything about ads on your blog, let me know. I'm trying to do some research on how many is a good amount to have on there. How often do I have to like change them. I'm just not too sure. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know or point me into the right direction. I am going to do my own research as well, but the office is clean. Let me show you guys the office. I paint, you guys can tell the wall used to be black. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't vlog any of this. The wall used to be black in here, right? So I ended up just painting the entire room back a light color. I'm going to get a new desk and chair. That chair is a uh, terrible. So I'm going to get a new desk and chair. Um, but I am going to keep these bookshelves in here and just keep it really, really simple. Get a planter for that plant that I bought the other day from Ikea. And just kind of go from there, get some curtains. Looking at it now, I was going to get a desk from RH. <laughs> that desk is expensive. But now that I put my desk back in here, the white one, I actually like the white in here. I don't know. I want to tone it down with like some grays or something. And I'm going to change the chandelier um, out. But maybe I'll change the chandelier first and then get my desk and see. Um, I don't know yet, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I got the sofa out of here. I gave all, okay, let me tell you guys what I did. I had a sofa. I had a sofa. A table like a coffee table that was really nice pictures the red picture that used to be behind me um and what else did I get them some vases I had some mirrors like 
I just gave it to my guy that paints. Like sometimes with me, um, I keep my stuff really, really well. I had all of that. I had the mirrors since 2017. Um, and the coffee table and the sofa and the vases I had since 2014. So that's what we want. That's a lot. That's a long time. But the white sofa that was leather was very clean. Um, the table was nothing wrong with the table. Uh, the vases only recently I've knocked it over and it had like a little small chip on it. Um, and what else did I get? Hmm. Oh, the pictures. I mean, the, the mirrors. I had those since 2017. So everything was in really... And I just gave it. He said his sister would take it. One thing about me, I would rather... Even though I had it up on Facebook Market, you know, just to sell it. Um, this lady, like, really, really lowballed me on the mirrors. And I was like, I'm not going to go that low. I'd rather give it away. You know, like, i just rather give it... It wasn't... I wasn't pressed for the money, but I just felt like she lowballed me so low... That when he came, I was just like, you know, he's always helping. Let me just give this to him. And I did. So that was cool. But anyway, for the rest of the day, I'm going to do some work and get off and work on my client stuff. Maybe I'll show you guys some of that today. Maybe I'll show you guys some of that because I have to create her um, her virtual closet for her and go through, um, you know, the stores and stuff. She's she's tall. Um, she's taller than I am. I worked with her before for her winter, fall stuff. So now we're going to work on her summer her summer stuff. So she's like, I don't have any summer stuff. I'm like, yeah, you do. So my goal is not always to like make the client spend a lot of money. It's to kind of work with what they have. But I know that when we did work together before, it was like February. So she'll be good after this time. It's just her. She has a really good idea on what to do, what to look for. Because I, since I consider myself a style coach, you shouldn't have to come back to me a second time. But because she's tall, her struggle is finding the stuff. And I just have, I don't know, I'm really good at finding the stuff that, well, she's never thought about trying. Um, just to kind of step her out of her comfort zone. But I'll show you guys some of that later on when I get off. And that's it for this part of the vlog. I'm going to get some work done. So I'll catch you later. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So I am off of work now. And I didn't even eat lunch. I'm so hungry. But I had a consultation today uh, with a new client. And I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I do for her. So she basically has to create her, um, like fill out everything. And then I kind of go in and create her virtual closet for her. And then I start finding the pieces for her. Then we meet on the initial meet. We go through some stuff because she's a returning client. I already know what she's looking for um, for summer. So I'm going to actually do our two calls a little different than the other ones. Um, that's just because we already met before. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go downstairs and get something to eat. I got some notes for her. And then I'm going to just start getting her stuff together. It's so dark in this hallway. Cha, I called the people about this table. And the table is going back. <laughs> Let me show you guys from this way. Can you let me see if you guys can actually see it from this way? That's my water. You see, it's it's not ugly, but I definitely don't want it. Um, I just think it's too big, and sorry, I just think it's too big, and I don't know. It's just I'm not feeling it. It's going back. Um, All right, so I'll show you guys in a second uh, my client stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm downstairs in the kitchen area because, and it's a little nippy down here. Let me move you guys over here. It's a little nippy, but I'll show you guys what I'm actually gonna do. I'm gonna go change my clothes because I can't cook in this. It's so messy in my on my kitchen counter. Papers and just stuff. The box from the laptop. <laughs> like it's just a lot going on. Let me show you guys. Stuff over there that I gotta sell. Rugs in the back that I gotta sell. 
Let me, okay, I sent her the email with the package. All right, so let's check her stuff out. Let me see if I can show you guys. Oh, she, I don't think she completed. She booked, but she didn't complete her, her closet. I can show you, she didn't complete. So they basically have to create, this shirt is just too small. I'm glad I wore it today, not too, not long. But um, she has to create, fill out some paperwork and then I create her actual closet for her. And then she gets like an email and she sees all this stuff in there for her to upload some things, right? But she's wanting new stuff for summer. Um, so, and again, she's, she's tall. So I have to do some, some deep diving today. She's 6'4", six, 6'3". Six, oh no, she's 6'4", I think. So I have to do some deep diving and just kind of go in and, you know, see what I can find for her, for her for the summer. So I am going to check out her. Oh, what's this? That's for you. Oh, I did get some. That was it. Let me check my. We get commission to one some of the products. And let's see. Yeah. Why is that locked? All right. So I'm going to just. I don't think she filled out her stuff, which sucks because that means I can't start. I can't start just yet. Until, until she does her part. So basically she has to fill out something and then I get a notification. I create her closet, but if she doesn't do it, I'm gonna ask her when she's gonna do it. Uh, let me let me text her actually because I wanna get started. I mean, I can still get started, but it's much easier because I can just plop the stuff in there. She she sees everything. There's links for her to purchase things. Like it's a very seamless process, um, and it's actually really nice. So let me email her. I probably can't show you guys because it's not available yet. I get, she has to do her part first. So let's see. Apply to ATM. Hmm. Why did they do that? Okay. Let me do some stuff here and then I'll get back to you guys in a second. Good morning guys. Welcome back to another vlog. So I'm getting ready for, I'm getting ready to sign on for work. Um, so yesterday I told you guys that I was waiting for my client to finish out her, her information. So her virtual closet could be created. <clears throat> she did complete it. So today I'll pretty much show you guys some of the things that I do for her in particular, because she is really tall and, um, it's not the easiest finding things for someone who's six four, right? <clears throat> she's six. She's six three or six four. Well, I'm not gonna say it's not the easiest. It's just that I'm really big on quality, so I don't want to buy her things that are <sighs> not good quality. <laughs> All right. So again, I'm six feet. She's three inches, three or four inches taller than me. So. You know, she likes street style, but she, summer is here, so she wants some summer things, so, and just like throw on really cute outfits, like shirts and jeans and some shoes. Really simple, but still very chic, guys. It is not that hard to 
achieve this look, especially if you want to stick to a specific budget. You don't necessarily have to start buying every designer piece in the world. Yes, it's great to have some, um, but if you don't like them at all, trust and believe me, you could still look very, very nice with no designer pieces. Um, and I, I want to get that out there because I've said this before, as a tall woman, the struggle is already there. Most brands, I'm noticing that, hold on guys, let me do this really quick. I'm trying to get on my computer. Most brands that do cater to um, plus size women, they cater to plus size women. But my thing is this, I'm starting to see a lot of brands just have like standard average clothes and then shorts, like petites. And I'm like, well, what happened to the tall girls? Let me tell y'all, if I ever got the opportunity to do a clothing line, it's on. I mean, like everything that I see, I don't always like. However, I know a lot of tall women would like to wear some of the stuff that they see that their um like favorite influencer uh, wears and they just don't carry them in their size so i guess i would say yeah i guess i would do trendy stuff but i'm really more so how does how does this stuff look on us tall ladies because and i think i've said this on tiktok when it comes to like high-waisted pants they don't necessarily always look good on us Wearing jeans and pants at your natural waistline for tall women looks actually better. If you are tall and you're watching this video, try it out. Get a long mirror, get some high-waisted jeans or pants. I'm sure you already have them. And get a pair that is at your natural waistline. The clothes actually look better on you. Um, like I said before, most of us are very athletic build. Those of us who are bigger, we're usually bigger, like a lot bigger. Um, it's very few really thick, tall women that I've seen. They usually have an athletic build, which is fine, right? So that means that we don't really have a lot of hips and stuff like that. <laughs> but we could still look really nice. And to be honest, like she even said yesterday on our consultation, has she realized she realized that flowy pants look really nice on her. They do. It's because we're tall, right? It's just what it is, right? They look nice on average height women. Petite women, they just gonna have to find one that fits them. If the clothes were made for us, trust me, more of us would be shopping at a lot more brands. Alice and Olivia is a brand that I recently found out about maybe like two years ago. And their pants are like a 34 or maybe 35 sometimes. They're not the cheapest, but the reason why I like their method, they could actually go longer, and I'm gonna tell you why. They have an in-store tailor, seamstress. They think they call her seamstress. And what she does is, if you buy a pair of pants and you are shorter, right, or petite, they're taking them in for you for free. This is to all the designers out there in the world, okay? You will get more customers. Now, I'm, okay, let me backtrack. I am assuming that they are, pretty much saying that there's more plus size women than the plus size and petite women than there are tall, which can possibly be the case. But we are here. We cannot just be like forgot about, <laughs> forgotten about, right? So to all the brands and designers, there's a few that actually carry really long pants. For those of you guys who say that you carry tall or long and it says 32, that's not tall. That's not long. That's not. So just push it up to at minimum 34 with at least two inches of inseam to bring down if they needed to, right? For higher end designers, you guys too, like, come on, everything is made for like really small girls. And like I said, a lot of the influencers, I didn't even realize that they were this small until I like really listen. And then they'll say like their size. And I'm like, oh, she's a size six. She, I'm like, ah, that's why, that's why, that's why. So it looks easy for them to actually buy these things. But in, in reality, it is because they're, they're a small person, right? And probably average height. 
to be honest, because they say 5'7 is considered tall, but if you're 5'7 and you're struggling to find clothes, then you're doing something completely wrong. You should not be struggling at 5'7. Even 5'9, you should not be struggling to find clothes. 5'10 and up, the real struggle starts there. 5'9, you guys can still get away with 33s, insane. Um, most of you guys, I'm not going to assume that you have smaller feet, but most of you guys may go up to a 10. If you're five nine, maybe eleven. If your feet are bigger than that, you're just like the exception. But for us tall, tall girlies, it is so serious out here. But I, my goal is to make sure that all tall women are confident in what they are wearing. Um, you know, and just feeling good in it, and don't feel discouraged because you're seeing your favorite influencer wear something and it doesn't look good on you. We just gotta switch it up. You may not be able to wear like really baggy pants. It may not look good. You know what I'm saying, right? You may have to get something a little bit more fitted, cinch in the waist because we're very slender, most of us, and make it your own style. So I'll let you guys see what I do for her later on today. Um, I got to do some stuff for Instagram. But other than that, I'm just going to get started working. And I will catch you guys later. Listen, this chair and this mat got to go. I'm going to order. Okay, so I'm going to send the table back, but I'm going to order me another desk. I'm looking around the office. I'm just putting, I put my old desk in here just to see if I would uh, like the color still. It doesn't look bad, but I was trying to give it like a little bit of warmth in here. Um, I don't know. I, that's why I, I changed the walls. I wanted to brighten the walls up, but I am going to try to, I'm going to figure something out here because I want it to look really nice. I have a plant here in this horrible <laughs> um, pot. It's just sitting there for now because I got it from Ikea and it comes in that little black thing. Um, until I get another pot, I'm going to leave it sitting here for now just so I can get some of the sun. And it's really bright in this room. I low-key want to bring my closet in here and switch my office over there. But, to be quite honest, that room is a lot bigger. So, I probably wouldn't be able to get my shoes all in here. I would probably have to put it here. And then the pack system will probably take up all of this. But yeah. But anyway, I will bring you guys later on when I start doing her stuff. I did look for some linen pants for her yesterday. And um, I have a few brands for her. Okay. I'm going to try my best. Because she always know she knows that I am going to buy something that is more expensive. Because it's going to fit her. And the quality is good. So I'm going to try my best to limit that this time for summer stuff, but still give her some really great quality pieces. Um, if it's cheaper, I'm going to make sure that it's something that can be worn multiple times in multiple ways as far as the color. So that is the key. Try not to buy um, trendy items with like bright, bright colors because it may the quality may not be so there when it comes to like high street brands. So I don't know. We'll see what, what I can find for her today, but... That's the goal for today, and then we're good, guys. So I will catch you guys a little bit later on, probably on my lunch break or something. So, hey, hey guys. So I'm finally off of work, and I'm gonna start working on my client's file. She did finish everything, and I just wanted to bring you guys along just a little bit so you guys can see some of the stuff that I do with my clients. I'm gonna see if I can just block out all of her information. Let's see. I'll probably figure something out. Let me add. Yeah, let me add uh, some stuff here. Like a screen or something. And see if I can block it out. <clears throat> um, so I actually, I'll give you guys a little breakdown of what I do. I, um, I teach women how to tackle vertical style challenges and vertical style challenges for me something that i coined is shopping for your body type right a lot of women have a hard time doing that and the reason why i think that is is because social media and pinterest and stuff we see women with outfits and stuff we don't really know their height and their size right it looks good but in reality we either taller than taller than them bigger than them something and we're not shaped like them it's almost like when you look at clothes online, right? And you see the model and you're like, oh, okay, she's wearing a size. You're like, the model's 5'10", but she's wearing like a small, right? <laughs> so
So it's a little frustrating, but I teach them how to do this where they don't have to hire a stylist again. And um, yeah, but sometimes people just rather you do the work for them, which is totally fine. But at least I know that they know how to actually go out there and pick out the right things that fit their body the proper way. Um, but yeah, I'll bring you guys, let me just pull something up so you guys are not seeing her information. I'm just gonna put like a little Word document over her name. And I just kind of go through here and I put, um, she creates the closet. We, um, I create some stuff and put it inside of her closet so she can see it. And anytime I see something that I want to put, in her closet, like new, she'll get that that notification from me. Let me see. Can this shrink anymore? I don't think so. I don't think this is gonna work, guys. I'm trying to hide her name. I mean, this little document doesn't shrink anymore. Yeah, I think that's the smallest it'll go. Um, but I'll show you guys this right here. Let me turn the camera around so you guys can see. Let me see. <laughs> All right. Let me see if you guys can see. It's probably not the best. Can you guys see that? I don't know how it looks because from your end if it's like dark. This is my new laptop, but um, here is the stuff. So I, pretty much this is her closet. This is my logo. This is virtual, so this is what we work with. Unless you live in Atlanta, uh, you will typically get the virtual services unless you pay for me to travel, right? So she completed it late yesterday. I haven't purchased anything. I'm just starting to set up things in her closet that I want to put in here so when she starts adding stuff in here for me to um purge for her because it's like a closet edit as well once she starts to load stuff there's going to be another piece that pops up here says recent uploads that's the stuff that she's going to add i'm going to go in and i'm going to change add them to these sections here purge keep tailor um this this particular session with her probably will be a lot quicker um so we may not be purging tons of stuff because we already did that the last what in february uh but she needs some summer stuff so this is the package that she got and i just kind of put the package information in here for her if you guys are interested i definitely will let will love for you guys to, like check out my website and stuff it is in the description but i do complimentary uh service comp consultations so you know they're not like feeling like they have to purchase something right away. But what I do is, I, I need to back up my computer. What I do is the finds, they go here. So I created another section for her with shoes, jewelry, um, bottoms and tops. Once I start adding the stuff here, it'll populate here. Um, the lookbook is where I'm gonna create outfits and looks for her. And then the closet is what she's uploading again. I can actually show you guys some of the other stuff that I did with her before, but um, but yeah, this is it. So I'll show you guys how I do this. So let's just say I'm looking for mm, a denim skirt. Let's say a maxi denim skirt size. Uh oh, I can't see guys. <laughs> size. 14, let's do 14. So here, some skirts popped up, right? Um, these are okay. But just to show you guys what I'm talking about, I'm going to grab, let's grab, mm, I can grab this one. This one's cool too. Topshop has one, Bloomingdale's has one, Urban Outfitters. And Revolve has one that looks pretty cool. And Refor Refor Reformation has one. Uh, she has a decent budget this time around again. So let's just 
we're just gonna grab anyone. Let's go to favorite daughter. I didn't even know they had any, but this one is actually cute. Um, they go up to a 34. So, the, uh, it's pre-order, so let's get out of here. Let me find one that I know will carry her size. Uh, scotch and soda is pretty cool. All right, let's just grab the one that was at the beginning. And then this is how easy and seamless this is, guys. So I'll just grab, mm, let's see what free people got. I mean, I don't necessarily like this one. Um, let me, I don't like this one. Let me get out of here. <laughs> let me find one that I actually like. Let me see the Bloomingdale one. This one is not bad. But an extra large, let's see what an extra large is. A 16. All right, so I'm going to take this one. And what I'm going to do is I am going to click on my extension to my website and basically what it does is it populates this stuff here like pictures of the item and then I can just select an item and then it goes here and we're done uh oh oops Hold on, guys. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's in the right section. So if I hit on view wardrobe, do you see now it's here? And then now it shows here. I could add something else and then it'll also add here. I can add some jewelry, it'll also add there. Um, but yeah, so basically she'll get a notification, she'll get an email from me and I kind of just walk her through like why I put it in there. And once she figures out what she actually wants, she purchases everything, everything is clickable. So basically she'll come back here and click on this and it'll take her right back to Bloomingdale's to the item. So it's a really seamless process. I really like it a lot. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Let's turn you guys around. All right guys, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today is going through her stuff and seeing what, um, you know, what I like and what I think she would like uh, before summer, like we really like engulfed in summer. But I'm excited because she has a nice set of stuff for fall. Let me say it's fall and winter. And now we're going to get her summer stuff together. So the good thing is that she worked with a stylist before. But she said, so here's the thing. Because she's tall as well, the other stylist she worked with, she kind of felt like um, the stylist, what's the word? only worked with shorter people because of the type of stuff that she was getting. So I was like, probably I'm tall, so I already know. So that's probably why she's a returning client. And that's always a plus. So that's what I'll be doing today, guys. Um, and that's it. I'm probably gonna end the vlog tomorrow. I have some stuff going on and maybe Saturday I'll end it and then load it up for you guys. But if you guys like vlogs, let me know. I can like really vlog the majority of this stuff because I really don't show you guys everything, especially when I'm getting up in the morning. But let me know what you guys think and let me know what you guys would like to see on this channel. You guys know I just recently hit my thousand subscribers and I'm super happy and hopefully it'll just grow from there and you guys can join my little family. So I'll catch you guys in the next part of the vlog. Bye. All right, so I'm headed over to get something to eat. I did go to the car dealership to get some work done. And these folks talking about they can't finish it in one day, which is fine, right? So I'm like, okay, give me a loaner. They don't have a loaner. So now I have to come all the way back. I was trying to pay for the services and um, come back, but they can't do that. So I was just like, I, I got to come back because I can't come back to the weekend. So that's kind of annoying. So I'm stuck. 
there's a few things I need to get done, which I really don't want to do. But yeah, I'll catch you guys inside when I go eat with my friend inside of ugh. inside of um, <laughs> this little pizza place that I absolutely love. So I will catch you guys in there.
Welcome back to another vlog day, guys. This is my weekly vlog. Vlog. I think I'm gonna start doing them if you guys like them. I I'm not sure, but I think it'll be a good way for you guys to really kind of get to know me a little bit more, um, and you get to see what I do day to day as a work from home lady. Um, maybe not so much work, of course, but um, like what I eat in the morning, just my daily routine, just trying to get uh ready for work because to be quite honest working from home is not for everyone if you are a person that likes to be around people it, it ain't for you okay but i got some stuff in from zara i'm going to show you guys so this is going to be me really talking about the jeans that i got and how i sometimes get really lucky when i go to zara i just read those details i said this a million times guys Reading those product details is king, okay? So basically when Zara has like their long full length jeans, sometimes they don't reach like past the ankle, right? However, if you read into the description, it sometimes will say extra long. When I see extra long, I know 99% of the time they are going to fit me, all right? So the pants that I got, they're really nice that like they're not as as a uh, they're softer than the the original pant that I got from them which I like they're not so because the, I guess the old ones are like denim denim like real real denim and these are just a little bit softer I don't think there's any like stretch in it maybe slightly but it's definitely not as hard as as the ones that I have on but I'll bring you guys in there and try them all I'm gonna do some stuff for TikTok show them what I got in and my goal is for TikTok is to get the girlies to know that they can still buy stuff if they are tall at regular brands and I don't know if I've said this before but growing up in New York City I ain't know nothing about no tall girl brands it was just not something that I did so I always made things work for my body and I'm still that way today which by me doing that it actually how can I say this it made me a little biased <laughs> on like tall girl brands. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. It made me a little biased on tall girl brands because the quality. Okay. So uh, most of the times, most of the times tall girl brands are made with like material that are probably not long lasting and it's no shade to them. It's just that I know it costs a lot of money to have a, like a, you know, to cater to a certain type of body. And this could be for plus size or even petite. So, but for tall women, we really have to like really buy stuff that's the best quality. So we don't have to keep buying them over and over. You guys know I love the favorite daughter pants. They're like immaculate. They're 34 inseam. I like them a lot. And it's about two inches inside where you can take out to a tailor if you are over six feet okay um i would say maybe an inch and a half take out anything after that you're gonna have to start adding in your own material to add on to the pants but i'll show you guys the pants and stuff once i get in the room in my closet okay and i actually changed some stuff around and i'll show you guys i've moved my jeans i didn't have i don't have a ton of jeans i'm starting to have more denim skirts which i love uh because you know you can wear those all year round so i'll show you guys the things that i changed in there i'm so mad that i did not get the tallest ikea packs system because that top half is definitely needed when you are trying to put in drawers and different pullouts and stuff when i move or maybe soon <laughs> i will change is that my door I will change my um my closet. Let me see something, guys. Nobody be coming to my house, okay? But let me check. Oh. Oh, I gotta go to FedEx. I keep forgetting. Drop this laptop off. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I keep pushing it off. Get it out the way. But um yeah, so I'll show you guys the pants, the jeans that I got. Uh, <laughs> again, I'm five, 
I'm I'm six feet, so if you're shorter than me, they're gonna be really long. I tried them on, they feel really good. So yeah. And they were I think fifty bucks. I think fifty bucks, not expensive. Their jeans are not bad. I feel like this. You can find some really, really nice jeans at Zara to the point where you could have five good pair of jeans, denim, um, and trousers. I really don't find them there. So I did so I, I did opt to buy the ones at Favorite Daughter, which I'm glad they are a little pricey, <laughs> but what can I do? I'm six feet tall and I don't want to buy something that's not good quality and I'm going to have to buy it over and over. So yeah, I'll let you guys see the stuff that I purchased for that. And then Frankie Shop has a lot of cute things right now. So for those of you guys who've never shopped at the Frankie Shop, hold on, this is changing. The sun is going in and out. Okay. So for those of you guys, hold on, let me do something. Yeah. For those of you guys who've never shopped at the Frankie shop, um, their stuff is typically oversized. So they do carry small, medium, large, right? But then they'll have small, medium, medium, large, or something like that. When I see that, I know that that medium, large, probably not going to fit. So I always opt for something that is a large that is oversized. When I see oversized, it typically will fit my body like it's like an average shirt or bottom, not even bottom. I haven't purchased any bottoms from them, but like an average uh, fit shirt for a tall woman. Child, the struggle is real. Like I feel like plus size women have so many nice things. I always see nice stuff for plus size women and I'm like what would happen to tall women y'all can't just leave us out here to the wolves okay because we like to get dressed too so I'm just finding it more and more like I don't want to say difficult but challenging that I'm just like like what's going on even the shoes I spoke about the shoes where oh my goodness the shoes are like running so small these days and I don't know if they're just catering to like or they don't want certain people to wear their stuff. But then I'm just like, what about models, right? They're tall. They have, like, larger feet. And, like, but they are, like, a size 2 and 4. Like, they're really small. So I'm a 12 child. 12 sometimes. But I'll show you guys. I had lunch already. I'm about to get off of work. I signed on kind of late today. So I'm going to work a little bit longer and then bring you guys and try on the stuff. I have to do a live tonight for Instagram and I'm planning on going live on TikTok, but I'm so, I don't know why I'm nervous. So I'm not going to say I'm nervous because I know people just join just to join, but I, I'm probably going to start uh, doing lives there. Maybe I'll do some research first and see how the lives are, you know, how they work before I actually start. But it's, I think it's just a good idea. And then I got a really cool message from a lady on TikTok. She wants me to plan a meetup for tall women. And I was like, at first I was like, I don't know. But then I'm like, oh, this will be really cool. So I told her that I'll do it. Something here in Atlanta. So if you are a tall lady and you would like to go, I'm probably going to do like an event bright and promote it like that. But nothing crazy, just oops, nothing crazy, just something like, you know, chill where we can just like, the girls could have cocktails. I don't drink, so... That's not going to happen. Like food and stuff. Just kind of chit chat about fashion and stuff. Maybe some style struggles that we go through. Finding things at particular brands. And I don't know. Just seeing where it goes. You just never really know like who you'll meet when you do stuff like this. She seems like a really nice lady. So I don't mind doing it. But anyway, I'll bring you guys when I go try on stuff for from Zara. Bye. Hey guys. So I, this is really quick. I wanted to just come on here and show this book again um a lady commented on another video of mine and i didn't want to do a whole video just showing the inside of it so hopefully she will see this i'll probably put it in the thumbnail she wanted to see how the inside of the book looked and it's just pages it's a little bit of reading and then there is a ton of like journaling right 
So every day you journal and you write in here. So if she is watching, <laughs> there's about 40 pages to read and then the rest of the pages is like little reading in between, like small, and before you start each journal day. So again, this is how it looks on the inside. I have a ton of these guys, like a ton. But um, <laughs> for the lady who was questioning, let me see what her name is. Let me see. I'm gonna send her, I'm gonna send her a message here. We'll reply to her and tell her that I'm gonna show it in this vlog. <laughs> bye guys, bye. Hey guys, so I'm in my closet. Let me turn off TikTok, cause that's on right now. And I'm going to show you the pants that I got and the sandals from Zara. Let's move this back here. <laughs> Let me move you guys over here. And let's shift you guys just a little bit up. All right. Just some simple black sandals. Okay. Now, I got them in white as well. So these have like a faux crocodile situation going on. Um, and I'll tell you the difference between the two. The white ones are more of like a smooth leather. And they actually feel a little bit more spacious. And I don't know, they just feel a little bit more roomier in my opinion. But I think they're cute can't be bending down y'all <laughs> I think they're really cute nothing major you guys are gonna probably see these in another video like a full-on and I got these in a 42 but they are slightly I don't know the black ones just feel like a little bit more snug and then I got some jeans which I'm gonna actually just pull out one of them now they both have different what do you call these? Numbers. I item numbers. But, I don't know, sometimes, I, you know what, look. Can you guys see this? How the tag is like dyed. I get a little nervous, so now it's making me want to wash them. Um, Typically I put them in like the dryer when I get them, but I'm thinking about actually washing them just in case there's like some dye. I don't know. But let me bring this down so you guys can see. I'm going to do a full video on them. But let me see if I can. If you guys can see. Hold on. I'm just going to move back. Out. Can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can really see. But these, the, these jammies are long. Let me come all Let me close my door. Can you guys see? So I have them sitting at my natural waistline and they are on the floor. So yeah, these are actually a lot softer than the ones that I have on now. Let's move you guys back up. A lot softer than the ones that I have on now. I like these a lot. I got a size 12 and the item numbers are different in them, but it is their wide leg I guess you could say they look big as all heck, but they fit. <laughs> they fit maybe just a little tweaking in, in the waist, but these are 12 guys, a full on 12. And I got, I got them in two colors. So I needed some more jeans because I don't have enough long jeans. And I think I'm good now. If I can get another black pair from Zara, because the ones that I have are just entirely too big for me, even though I got them taken in their size 14 and they're just like really they're really really um big so i just need one more pair and then i should be good when it comes to jeans you know you don't need like a ton of jeans right you don't need a ton of jeans and yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna end the vlog here i'm gonna go work on my client's file we do have I do have to find her some summer stuff, so I'm gonna work on her file, work on my weekly vlog for you guys, and again, let me know if you guys like the vlogs. Um, 
I like doing them. I just don't know if you guys are like bored with them because you really don't still know me, know me. But it's just a part of my everyday life. And I think I might do them once a week, possibly. Yeah. But let me show you my outfit today. I don't even know if you can see. Hold on, let me move some of this stuff out the way. Let me turn you guys around. I'm probably gonna pop in a picture as well. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. So I have on this cute little top. And I had on my my Jimmy Choo shoes. This is an old Zara top. These are the, the Zara jeans as well. The other ones. Yeah, but <laughs> that's my outfit of today, guys. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel. I am so appreciative of everyone who's subscribing. Knowing that I'm still trying to get out the kinks in this channel. But I thank you guys for sticking it out with me. And there's going to be more to come. I only can get better. And I appreciate you guys. So follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC.com. And my styling services. Coco Styles NY.com and I'm on tickety tickety talk Coco Styles NY guys and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.